Establishing battlefield control. Okay, welcome to a new Renegade X Firestorm Special Edition podcast. My name is Fabi. Hey, I'm Havoc89. You may or may not have heard of me. It's been a while since we did one of these, but uh, we're about to talk about some cool stuff. And I've never technically done one of these, but I'm Yosh56. The one you've probably heard of and ranted at. Don't worry, we love I'm you. I'm Dr. Bong. I'm sure some of you guys have seen me on Discord and seen me in game. We're going to start by uh, looking at the teaser trailer together and sharing some of our thoughts. He said thoughts. All right, I guess uh, let's just fire it up and then go through it. So this, this teaser trailer was made by the same guy who did our last two trailers. If you saw the Just Do It Up trailer or, or the release date unveiled, uh, it was made by the same person, Isaac. He's done a phenomenal job on it. I think the music is definitely one of the best parts about it. Um, he got his sound buddy involved into it. Really excited to, to go in this like new direction of Eva and also totally try and get some of the, the vibe that we had in the Tyrene Sun trailer and get that stomp track in there. It sounds really good. Turned out really well in the end. Definitely got a few chills down the spine at that last little bit of the trailer. Here at the stomp at the end. Yeah, I wonder what that is. <laughs> jump jets. Also because of jump jets right there at the end. <laughs> so the trailer's got an amazing reception so far. So first, we really have to thank our fans for this. Uh, we're looking at 26,000 views as of uh, 6 o'clock p.m. EST, June 21st. 2020. Uh, I mean, this is really going on fire. It's going viral. This is really an exciting time for the CNC community because with Remaster coming out, the community is coming together. Everyone's getting reinvigorated and our servers are filling up. And this is just a great year for CNC. Not a great year for other things necessarily, but for CNC, it's pretty good. Yeah, no, it's, it's not bad. Not bad. So what you see uh, in the background now after the trailer is uh, some of our alpha footage. Now, first, I need to give a disclaimer that the alpha footage does not represent in any way, shape, or form uh, what Renegade X Firestorm will be. Renegade X Firestorm is a Tiberian Sun uh, game mode in Renegade X. We do expect it to be released fall 2020. We're going to try our best to get that deadline, of course. Um, and what you see in the background is the alpha test. And as of now, some of our alpha testers will be releasing uh, additional footage on their own YouTube channels. Um, of course, keep that disclaimer in mind when you see everything in this current test, that everything is, is a work in progress and still in development. This is also a really old version of the alpha. We haven't done one of these in uh, quite a bit of time. It's been a few months. So things are pretty outdated, and there was a completely different expectation set back then. Uh, things have changed quite a lot since then. Uh, we'll go over exact details on on what what changed, but uh, you know, you you are getting to see what is not a final representation, but a good idea of where we want it to go. Indeed, everything won't be there. However, a lot of that will be. In. Yeah, we're trying to keep as much of it as, as possible, um, but uh, we'll, we'll go over that shortly. Indeed. First, I want to give a very quick update. As some of you know, Renegade X has been in beta for over six years now. Uh, we've been steadily updating it with new maps, bug fixes, balance changes, and we're very happy that the game is being played every day and that servers are filling up, especially on the weekend. With your continued support and help over the last 13 years, Renegade X has been honestly, truly a, 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 a dream come true. It's a spiritual successor to that hidden gen that we all love. Uh, the game's come a very long way since 2014. It's been polished by dozens of helping hands. Uh, our original release in 2014 had a few hiccups, but now the game runs smooth. Uh, we have almost 40 maps and a dedicated player base. And, uh, you know, here we are uh, announcing a final version uh, to this game. Um, the full version, of course, will be released later this year with City Flying. We hope to get a tutorial as well for new uh, 
Renegade X players. And with your help, we want to give one aggressive last media push this year uh, to advertise this game and to breathe some new life into it. So with your help, we can spread the word to YouTubers, to Twitch streamers, to influencers, and we need all the help that we can get because we want to build a nice North American audience so that the, the server can also fill up on the weekends and really an audience all over the world in general. Yeah, just, just knock over to uh, your neighbor's door. You know, you can stay two meters away and be like, hey, have you heard of this? You should come play. It's free. This podcast uses the metric system? I do. <laughs> I do. <laughs> it's the most international one, I think. Okay. <laughs> so what, um, yeah, he's go for it. Yeah, but he's not lying. Uh, for the last uh, two to three days, just seeing servers full at like Eastern time, one two a.m. That's uh, that's president for running Enix. But yeah, seeing full servers at night for our U.S. West Coast players, especially, oof. it's been a great week. Yeah, it was incredible. Last night we were up until 2:30 a.m. Central Time. There were still 50 to 55 players on. It was incredible. So uh, again, the cat is now out of the bag. We've been working on Renegade X Firestorm for some time now. Some of you were probably wondering what we've been doing over the last couple of years. Quite honestly, it's been like the worst cat secret. We did hint at it pretty strongly a few times on social media. Uh, but in case you haven't heard, here we are. We're bringing Renegade X Tiberian Sun to ground level. Uh, it is a Tiberian Sun game mode in Renegade X. You will be able to just have one single download of Renegade X uh, later this year, and you will be able to play on Renegade X servers, Tiberian Sun, you know, Firestorm type servers, uh, and servers that might play maps from both Renegade X and from Firestorm. Um, so you'll be able to play some of your favorite Tiberian Sun infantry and vehicles. Uh, we're talking about jump jet infantry. We have cluster missiles, Titans, Wolverines, Banshees, Juggernauts, Orca Bombers, you name it. Subterranean units. I mean, it's really time you saw the future. It is the complete Tiberian Sun roster. Uh, not everything necessarily works in first person, but we're, we're going to try and get as much of it as possible. Um, it is meant to be sort of a game mode in a way so it's going to be a seamless transition at the end of the uh, standard typical round in Renegade X where like you have your end of game uh, map vote screen and you might get some maps that are from base Ren X and then you might get some from Firestorm so it's going to be pretty organic in, in the way that it works however all I'm going to say is indeed you did hear that correctly there will be jump jet and how do they work Yosh better than any other game you've <laughs> you can go fast. You can go slow. Honestly, we've and been having you can a lot actually of actually fly. To be perfectly honest, the alpha test, uh, flying engineers, right? Flying that was tools since yeah, genuinely the most fun <laughs> in the alpha test. Where like we, we tried even like seeing how far we could go in jump jets before uh, yes. uh, we run out of fuel. More well, importantly, debugging jump jets was hilarious. Nothing like flying across an entire map that's like a kilometer long. There will be uh, significantly nerfed in that aspect <laughs> by the time the Firestorm comes around. However, yes, jump jets, you can verify with testers, jump jets were very fun in the end. So, yeah, but I was just saying that Yosh is here to discuss the jump jets. He's the jump jet representative here in this podcast. As a Advent Section 8 player, I am not allowed to let anybody else work on jetpacks of any kind. Uh, I've been disappointed with jetpacks in every video game probably ever, so therefore I had to make my own interpretation of jetpacks. And I like how it came out, even if I almost pulled my hair out trying to get it to work correctly. Totally worth it. So, uh, Tiberian Sun didn't actually start off as, you know, like a grand big project that we wanted to do. Uh, it was, it, it accidentally started off as like me just screwing around with some old models that I had from the old Tiberian Aftermath mod. Um, and I'll, I'll, I'll put up the footage that you're seeing right now. That was the first test that we did. And it wasn't necessarily because we wanted to make Tiberian Sun. It was just like, hey, let's, I'm just curious to see what happens. Like, how do you get mechs in here? Oh, it turns out to be kind of easy. Huh. Okay. 
And then, uh, you know, like we, we started to, to talk with W3D Hub um, and the Reborn team, and they were like super nice enough to, to lend us their assets. And then we started to poke around it a bit some more. And, uh, you know, like one thing led to another. We, we kind of uh, ended up getting all of the things in game. It, it didn't happen overnight. It wasn't something that we were planning for. I just, you know, I, I was curious to see what would happen. Um, and then we started to mess around with it. And then we're like, hey, uh, we have all this in here. What, what do we do? Um, we, we could make something of this. And then that's kind of when it started to happen. And uh, after a certain point, we kind of noticed that, like, some of the designs weren't really working in a first-person shooter. Uh, the Wolverine is a really good example of that. Like, it has sh really short, stubby legs, so it can't really move around a whole lot. If you, and it's supposed to be GDI scout unit, right? So it's supposed to like be quick and, and move quickly. But with those tiny little legs, it has to animate like a cartoon character if it wants to move anywhere, and that looks kind of ridiculous. But not only that, like the Gatling guns are below the hip. So it has a giant hitbox that's sticking out above any obstacle, but you yourself couldn't shoot it. So we had to make a few creative liberties in all of the designs that we did, just to accommodate for the first person uh, gameplay. Like, we wanted to make sure that the guns were a little bit more elevated, that the Wolverine didn't look ridiculous when it was walking. Um, so over time, our art our, our direction kind of changed a little bit as well. It isn't perfect, uh, and sometimes things are a little too far away from the TS design. And you know, not everybody's gonna like it. That's that's totally fine. There are things about it that even I don't like. Um, as an artist myself, like I I like to get really nitty gritty about details, but at the same time, we are a passion project developed by a bunch of volunteers. So I, I genuinely cannot ask for more than what they've already given. And you can already see all of the effort that everybody's put into this game. It is astounding what we've managed to achieve. So really, that's kind of where Tyburn Sun came from. And then, you know, when we were originally talking about CNC, uh, the problems with CNC, uh, CNC mode specifically, not, not the brand. Um, it, it has some snowballing issues and we wanted to kind of tackle that and that's where CNC 2.0 came into uh, uh, you know our mindset we're like what if we had these like giant buildings giant base building areas giant maps and potentially even the idea of like what if you could select your team what if it wasn't always GDI versus not what if it was it was possible to do not versus not or GDI versus GDI so th we wanted to kind of open up everything a little bit more and build what could have been a really good uh, interpretation of uh, a full-scale RTS in an FPS environment. And as you can probably tell by now, it didn't exactly work out that way specifically because of engine limitations. We did do it. Uh, we, we had it up and running but uh, it just wasn't running as well as we wanted to. And we wouldn't want to compromise on the gameplay uh, to a degree where it didn't feel like we were compromising on what CNC 2.0 could have been. That was kind of an important point where we wanted to make sure that what you got at the end of the day is something that's refined and plays well. You're, you're exactly right. I mean, we didn't want to scale down the vision too much. Of course, we had to scale it down just to make sure that uh, everything can run smoothly without any crashes and with good performance on everybody's part. Yeah, I think you said everything. As in, we just we wouldn't want to have to narrow it down to like a 15 v 15 only, even though the maps are bigger kind of experience. Yeah, that wouldn't really make a whole lot of sense. So the the direction that we went up with for Firestorm at the end of the day is this is going to be part of Renegade X. Why don't we make it like Renegade X? So that's that's what it's going to be like, but it's going to be a more refined version of that. So, Havoc, um, we're going to talk a little bit now about how Firestorm differs from the normal Renegade X. Of course, 
you know, beyond it being a Tiberian Sun game mode, uh, can you tell us a little bit about um, how, how Firestorm uh, narrows down the scope and makes everything? Right. So uh, I think we all know that OG Ren and even Renegade X to a degree uh, is a bit rough at times. It it has everything from when you take a look at the broad scope of all your weapons, all your vehicles, everything that you have at your disposal. Some things can be pretty useless, some things can be way too OP. And that's that's something that gets amplified when you lose something like a building, when you lose your weapons factory, or you lose your barracks. Suddenly, the nerf is too much to bear. And sometimes that can be a little bit demoralizing to, to people. So one thing we wanted to do this time around was kind of flatten that spectrum a little bit and narrow it down so that you're not having a complete range from useless to OP, but rather you have something that's a little bit more tighter, something that you can use, let's say, just the buggy late game and still be effective with it. You don't have to worry about trying to get the high tier units only or the high tier weapons only. There's no longer that like sense of, well, you know what? I can't get a pick or a rail gun. That, that means I can't be effective against tanks. So we're trying to limit that as much as we can. And we did that to a degree as well in Renex with recent uh, new uh, CQC mod updates. Um, there's There's been a lot of that, but then we're taking it one step further in, in Firestorm. I don't like how you're talking down my man tank. However, <laughs> we all understand what you need. Man Although tanks are not, great. <laughs> not in the know. Man tanks or laser chain gunners, but but yeah, that was one of the things in in even um, Ren X though, right? Like after we did the CQC, we we did kind of flatten that a little bit, and it did help. Like now you, you can use a gunner a, a lot more often, you can use an LCG a lot more often. You don't necessarily have to use the real guns all the time. We should probably explain CQC, uh, just basically flattening the curve between the body shot headshot modifier for Renegade. So it's no longer like a times five to the head where you do one damage to the body. What does CQC stand for? Close quarters combat. So sue me. It was a mutator first. It was just for <laughs> infantry fighting. Flattening the curve is like the expression of the year, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> and I mean, I didn't really talk about me calling it CQC until we explained what does the X in Renegade X mean? Nobody knows. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, but these are some really good points that this is not a game that you can just get a med rush and, and win necessarily, right? This is a game where you can use a buggy towards the end of the game. You can use some of the cheaper free infantry that will still be useful. You know, we're not having as, as, as many character classes in this game. Um, I would also say that this game feels more measured. Everything feels a little heavier. Um, the pace is certainly very different in this game, uh, Firestorm. And uh, it still has that arcadey feel that Renegade had, but it's definitely has its own pace. It's heavier, it's a little slower paced, it's a little bit more believable. Um, and uh, I think you guys are really gonna like it. Yeah, we wanted to make sure that every weapon felt like it had a punch to it, um, as opposed to like shooting nerf darts. You know, that's, that's not fun. When you get uh, shot at by a Titan, it should hurt, right? It shouldn't feel like it's something that you could just brush off. So it's it's not like as crazy as something like Battlefield, and it's definitely not as arcadey as it was in Renegade. It's it's somewhere in the middle, and we're still trying to work out that that mix. But I think we've we're getting it to a good point. Exactly. You're not going to get. You're not going to be completely, you know, demolished if you get ambushed. But you also probably want to keep your head on a swivel as it won't be like Renegade where if somebody ambushes you with an auto rifle you can probably turn around and headshot them with a sniper rifle and not even care about the five points of health each I think we all know that way too much we do so uh, the, the footage that you're seeing right now that is from the alpha test where we did have this grand ambition of, of you know when you think of a, um, a RTS FPS you think at the back of your mind you have base buildings, you have these large maps, you have like uncapped, uh, uncapped uh, unit limits, so like unlimited amount of vehicles or whatnot. You want these like grand, big, giant battles on like two kilometer size maps or whatever. That was sort of the direction that we were going towards in the beginning. 
And that is what you're seeing in the footage behind you. But we ran into a number of issues which we just couldn't circumvent simply because of the game engine. And it was a bit unfortunate, you know, like we, we did put all this time and effort into building something grandiose and it was, it was awesome. You're seeing it right there before your eyes. But, you know, at the same time, we want to make sure you can play this game. Indeed, it's not fun to play a game for 30 minutes just to crash and never finish an actual round. I believe, what did we get through? A, a handful of rounds whenever we actually had 20 to 30 people testing? Yeah, like over the course of the month of testing, I think we only finished like two or three matches out of however many matches that we actually played. So those that's one of the major reasons for we're going to have to scale this back. However, that doesn't mean everything is getting ripped out. However, you're more than likely not going to see all the base building and some of the more features that would be in say massive maps but yeah is it gonna so, be udk is that actually uh, so to clarify yes what renegade x firestorm will be the semi trimmed down version of our internal alpha for tiberian sun however while that will be released on udk alongside renegade x same install able to be played with the same maps. Havoc has already mentioned that. Um, we do have plans for an expanded release. More than likely on a new engine that won't limit us. I think what he's trying to say is Unreal Engine 5. Maybe. We'll see. I <laughs> took Why not Unreal that. Engine 4? There's no such thing as 5 yet. <laughs> We do ultimately we do. want to complete that vision of CNC 2.0 in a way. And Firestorm is just the first step. Keeping the game optimal, running well so that everybody is able to enjoy it uh, is a real priority for us. And it's possible that in the future we might look to you know a newer Unreal Engine. But for now, for this year, 2020, um, we're looking at some something more familiar. Like, from a programming standpoint, it's just we're making it as playable as possible. Orcos and Apaches doing the Harlem Shake, that took quite a while. However, we will make Renegade X as playable as possible and more than likely be moving to a new engine. So exciting stuff in the future. That being said, we are tenacious. That's just the Renegade community with the Renegade spirit. Um, and uh, we're going to do our best for this game, and we're going to look at what options we have after Firestorm comes out in the future. Um, so again, really excited. Not just Firestorm, guys, but also City Flying, one of my favorite maps, coming to the original Renegade X, which is going to be really exciting. One of the reasons why that map took a little bit longer is because we have to create all these new city assets. Of course, these assets will also be useful for map creators, like uh, level designers in the future. Uh, so when you want to design your own city map, so we're going to have uh, those assets. If you think about it, city in the original Renegade was really just a canyon with a city skin on it, really. Um, our interpretation of city flying is a little bit more accessible as a city. Uh, so we're really looking forward to playing that as well. So I'm sure many of you have noticed, uh, we actually have two official servers now as well. We have a European and a North American official server. So these are official Renegade X servers. You can get support for those on the Renegade X Discord, as well as on the Renegade X forums. This is very exciting because it can give players a very consistent experience where they're able to be assisted with any issues that they have. And uh, I believe you're also looking for moderators at this point, right? That is correct. We're looking for uh, moderators to assist with any in-game issues that players can have to help uh, have a good experience for everybody on this. So check out the Renegade X forums if you would like to apply. All applications are appreciated. So many of you ask very regularly in everything, every thread, every comment, every post, uh, are we gonna go to Steam? Now look, we would love to go to Steam we have spoken to EA several times about this in the past, about possibly allowing us to be greenlit uh, to go on Steam. You know, our current agreement with EA, we're not allowed to do that. But that still, you know, that doesn't mean that 
you can't get Renegade X. It's still very accessible. It's free. Anyone can get it without Steam. You can join. Um, obviously, Steam would give us some extra features and probably a bigger player base. But it is what it is. Uh, we did try our best to get on Steam, and we're not able to do that at this point. We have to re respect EA. They do own the intellectual property, um, and we do have a great relationship with them. And again, they're doing a great job with remaster and stuff. So, hey, I mean, the fact that we even get Renegade X and we get this upcoming Firestorm is uh, is a really big deal as it is. You know, not every company is going to allow that. EA has been very, very generous with us as well. So what that means is, because we can't spread the word through Steam, it is now up to you guys. So you guys gotta help us spread the word. Exactly. <laughs> I like it. Let them do the work. <laughs> so again, remember, this is a community-run project, okay? So please help us spread the word. Uh, follow us on Facebook, follow us on YouTube, follow us on Twitter keep up um you know keep your eyes peeled for more news we're here to try to answer some of your questions hopefully maybe we can do uh an ask me anything or a q a session uh in the near future but again we're going to be putting out more content more videos our alpha testers are going to be putting out more videos as well and yeah stay tuned for fall 2020 i mean quarter four 2020 is going to be really exciting and it's just so good to see the cnc community come back I have any real closing notes except for the fact that so I don't know if you saw this or not but Tipson has jump jets <laughs> Good point. and more but jump more. jets jump jets are fantastic but and there's more know. than one type of jump jet <gasps> oh, well. however it has jump jets <laughs> really are you just gonna end every topic with but it has jump jets I made people find me an icon of a Yoshi with a jetpack. Yes. Oh, that's right. <laughs> okay, so thanks again for joining us. Please let us know what your thoughts are on all of this. Um, let us know what you're most looking forward to in Renegade X Firestorm. And also let us know in the comments what questions you have. And hopefully we can come together again and maybe answer some of those questions. So. You know, Renegade X is free. You can download the latest version at renegade-x.com. Join us, okay? We have some official servers that are running, and uh, we want to see you guys in game. So again, please spread the word, and we'll see you soon. Yeah, definitely ask questions. Uh, yeah, I think uh, we may or may not do this more often. I think it's kind of a good way to kind of just let you guys in on uh, what, we're, what we've been now uh, working on. Like that about covers it and remember keep renner raging no that sounds weird yeah don't ever say that again Bobby. no renner rage <laughs> Ren renner rage <laughs> <laughs> you're a terrible person Fabi. hey don't don't tell anybody <laughs> we'll have a we'll probably have a better outro than that it's all yeah we'll see you in game commanders what he said oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> your outros are spam See, like, like bye. If Yoshi, you guys ask Yoshi. questions a lot more, then we'll be forced to do these a lot more often, and we'll actually eventually get better at this stuff. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If you ask questions, then we're forced to do this. <laughs> so the response has been awesome. You guys have been amazing. Uh, the dev team has poured their heart and soul into this. Uh, we hope you guys enjoy. We hope you guys uh, spread the word. Thank you for sticking with us for what is it, fourteen years now. I don't think any any one of us could have asked for anything more. Uh, so thank you, and uh, hope to see you again. Take care, guys. Yep, cool outro music goes here.